Howdy mates, uh, this is the second edition of the lifting 10 week transformation video. Uh, so I wanted to get into how my diet was going. Also had a question on what supplements I'm taking. Uh, so we'll get to that uh, later in the video. Also just had a other couple things, wanted to throw in a couple more goals I wanted to add to this 10 weeks. Uh, so that's what we'll be getting into today. So first starting off with the diet. Uh, it's going pretty well, actually really well, I think, in my opinion. Uh, breakfast for the past week, I've just done the egg whites, one scoop of protein, and uh, the oatmeal. So that's been my breakfast literally every day. Uh, next is lunch. Uh, I've had the chicken breast and then broccoli every single day. Is it getting old? Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, funny story. I actually put a camera in my bedroom because I was sort of afraid what was going on at night. Uh, so I put a little camera in just to confirm some of my uh, uh, suspicions of what was happening. I literally think I'm turning into a chicken. So yeah, clearly uh, that might be an issue. Uh, I might need to consult a doctor or something about that. Uh, not too worried about it though. Next, dinner. It's been up in the air. I've had steak. I've had chicken nuggets, shrimp, stuff like that. Really whatever. And then that evening I have that additional chicken breast. I'm actually like super hungry usually during the day. Like after a half hour after lunch, like I get hungry again or something. So I even have like more meals. I'm um, still like of the things I've mentioned, like chicken nuggets or yeah, stuff like that. Uh, cheating wise, I've been pretty good. A couple uh, bowl of cereals, uh, to be honest, but I was doing some research and actually people say that for building lean mass, milk's not bad, but like organic. So maybe I need to look into that next time I go to the store. If you guys have any other uh, foods that I could try out other than fruit. Uh, there's a lot of comments about fruit <laughs> eating fruit and to be honest I hate fruit. I don't eat any fruit actually to be completely honest with you, especially bananas. They're the worst. Okay, I hate them. Please just comment like for building lean muscle, uh, muscle mass. If you got foods, whatever, mention it in the comments. I want to hear it. I want to try it out. Now we can get into the supplements, so let me go grab those. All right, getting into the supplements, what I have here this is the whey protein. You know, the building block, the base. Pretty much, definitely recommend always take protein when you're lifting. Just gotta rebuild the muscles, build the muscles up. So, what I have here 100% whey protein plus. Uh, I get it from Walmart, pretty cheap actually. And my favorite thing is proteins per, uh, grams of protein per scoop is 32. So I take one scoop in the morning and then two scoops after I work out. Next, um, I do take creatine. Uh, people are back and forth on creatine, whether it works, but from what the research I've done, um, personally believe that it's helpful. So that's what I take, this is 100% platinum creatine. I get it on bodybuilding.com. Muscle Tech is the company. Also, this is creatine monohydrate. There's different types of creatines. From my research, monohydrate is the way to go. Finally, last supplement I take is Osteobiflex. Just get this uh, in the vitamin area of Walmart. Uh, this is for joint strength. This one's called triple strength. Glucosamine is what it's called. Uh, Kathleen X, Jeff Cavalier recommends it for anyone who's lifting, no matter what age you are. Uh, I used to have problems just like with push-ups, like push-ups would honestly just hurt my elbows and like even my chest area. And literally after, like it says, seven days of taking this, uh, the pain goes away. So it's, I love that. Definitely recommend it. Um, also, I take pre-workout every now and then. I'm back and forth on pre-workout. Most of it's just a ton of caffeine. Uh, I don't know, it's sometimes helpful, sometimes I don't feel the effects at all. 
Funny story I actually have is, so this week I had to get my Texas A&M ID and just something that me and my friends decided to do with all of our IDs. We have to take a funny photo. Um, so I've had three so far since we decided that. Also pretty sure I'm the only one that even does this. It's sort of a fun game because just the reactions you get when people see your ID and also the people taking the picture think you're a weirdo. And stories to go along with that. So my best one by far is my Bradley ID. Texas A&M one is pretty good. And then my recent license one was all right. So I will show you them in order from starting from my license picture. So this one, they literally made me retake it like three times because they're just like, nope, that doesn't work. Nope, that doesn't work. And finally, that's what I came up with. So it's not super great. Honestly, it looks like it almost could be like I was actually trying, and but I wasn't. So then it's just awkward. Next is the one I just took, Texas A&M. This one was pretty funny. Like I've already had comments on it. Like went to the gym, had a hand in my ID, and you just see him like look down and just laugh and shake their head. So that's pretty funny. Uh, and then finally. My most prized possession is my Bradley ID. So this one was super fun. Uh, when I went to go take it, uh, so the girl that's taking the picture is behind this wall, and so she can't see me, and she's just like, all right, you ready? Uh, three, two, one. And so I just make that face, and then, so she thought I was serious, She so she's like, hey, uh, just come look at this. Is this what you want? And I just look at it. Uh, and just think to myself, it's so bad. And I was just like, yep, that's what I want. And she's just like, okay, good, sounds good. You can pick it up around the corner. And so she just had to think, what is wrong with this kid? Uh, I recommend you try it if you got the kahunas to take a funny picture in a public setting like that, because it is super embarrassing. And finally, I just wanted to set a couple of new goals uh, because, well, one, let me just get into the goals. One is waking up at 7.30 every day. Ooh, I know, 7.30, crazy, that's so early, Kyle. Yeah, I know, it's not that early, but if you knew my sleep schedule, that's pretty darn early, okay? And I've been bad about sleeping in, so now telling you guys that I'm waking up at 7.30 forces me to wake up at 7.30. If any of you have my number, Text me at 7.30, make sure I'm awake. The second goal, I wanted to see how good I could get at the splits. Always wanted to be flexible. Also, it helped with kicks, cause I don't know, I like doing like MMA sort of stuff sometimes. So, I will do a video of how far I am right now. So that's how far I am right now. Maybe at the 10 to the 10 weeks, I'm gonna try and do this like every night, just stretch and see where I am by the end of the 10 weeks. All right, that's the end of this video. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, remember to subscribe, please subscribe. That helps me out a ton. Uh, and don't forget to comment the stuff you wanna see. Uh, I'm trying to get to some of the stuff you guys have already commented, but I like to see new stuff too. Just any comments I like to see, cause I do read them all. Uh, until next time. That's the day that when we come around. Yeah. This is your time when we want it now. How big is your army?